the booth. So let's give him a proper welcome. Yes. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, we were announcing it uh, that earlier is Wednesday. Yes, think, that yeah. we have a very special guest in the booth. We have Mr. Raymond Gutierrez. Good morning. Hey guys. Good morning. Good morning. And uh, just because he's here, yeah. even when uh, Dell is actually like at home, yeah, resting in bed, probably not wearing anything, um, <laughs> she is joining us. Yes, she is. Hello. Ew. Hello. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Hi, Del. Hello. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, guys. All right. Well, anyway, if you want to hear, like, you could just, uh, there's a, there's a here. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Cool. All right. So, uh, well, it's, uh, we're glad we were able to drag you out of bed this early. <laughs> this early. You know, it w- actually it wasn't that bad. I was picturing it in my head. I was right. like, oh, my God, how am I going to wake up in time for this? But, <laughs> you know, I have my coffee, so I have my caffeine fix. <laughs> and um, I just had to set my alarm like four times. Right. And I'm good. You oh. never wake up this <laughs> early. You never wake up this early. No, I do. I do. It's usually work-related right. or if I'm, like, rushing to a flight. Right. But, but usually is, it's like... But never I, for, like, leisure a, or anything like that. No. Like, yeah. if I have a flight, I usually just won't sleep. Sleep, and right. then, just go and then sleep on the plane. Yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. So what? What? What is it usually like? I mean, like on a on a normal day. Mm. What's your schedule like? You know, I don't have a proper schedule. Every day is different because I do a few things. Right. So um, every day, sometimes um, my my day is completely busy. Sometimes I, I have so much free time. So right. each day is different. I mean, I have my meetings, I have my shoots, and then. Um, sometimes I host events. Right. So each day is is different. So there's the... really no set like uh, yeah. time for you. <laughs> yeah. And you know, like, how were you? Did you do that on purpose? You know, because you started with Richard as like the twins. Yes. And and uh, you started very early in show business. Mm-hmm. And uh, was it like a conscious between the two of you, or maybe with your family that that you were going to? Because to make it in the business solo is already difficult enough. Yeah. But and with dis- my family, we all have big personalities. Exactly. Uh, I mean, my but mom no. alone can have all of our personalities combined. <laughs> and then my sister, Chard, is there. My dad. So. But did you make it a point na parang you, you made sure that you both went very different directions. Like, you know, Richard is a very, like, leading man, mm-hmm. actor, and then you're more of a host. Yes. So, like, did you do that on purpose? Did you talk it, about it and well, said, know, okay, it, you do this, I do that? Yeah, or? well, it was ultimately my decision. Yeah. Because when I first arrived in Manila, mm-hmm. I was only supposed to be here for three weeks. Right. So my, I, had, I had my suitcase ready. Right. I had to go back to school in L.A. But um, I did a guest hosting job in Mix, right. and that's when... Um, a GMA executive saw me right. and then offered me a hosting job. And I made it a conscious effort to really just stick to hosting right. because I know Chard was doing the whole acting thing and right. then I would visit him on set and I have zero patience for that. Wow. It's like you have to be on set 24, <laughs> 24 hours. hours before and then yeah, like, yeah. And you know, half of the time you're just waiting. Actually, so that's I, true. I would really just go crazy. Right. No, so, I, so you never even like... I mean, it wasn't something that you planned for. Like, it was just, uh, you were really just supposed to go back to school and, like... Yeah. You well, just... because showbiz was never, like, really in the in the plans for me. So, I never really just planned to be in showbiz. It kind of right. just happened. Right. Um, I was offered a job, and then I was like, you know what? I'll do it as long as I'm having fun. Right. At least you don't have to have that awkward, like, if you were doing the same thing, that was your twins, pa. Yeah. Like, who will they get? Will it yeah. be Raymond or will it be Richard? At yeah. least you're doing two very separate things. Yeah. You don't have to deal with that. Na parang, oh my gosh, no, who are they going to get for this gig? Right. Yeah. Can I have a, yeah, can I have a question? Jobs and personalities. So it was. It wasn't like oh, I'll ho- I'll host you act ha. Oh. But it was more of just like my decision to just. To just I wasn't really into acting. Right. Okay, so Del has so a Del question. has a question. I can't okay, hear. Oh, I, oh, you can't hear. Oh wait, wait. Okay, wait. He can't hear you. We have to fix something lang quickly. Oh, all right. Um. Okay. This is so difficult. Oh, okay, there. <laughs> there, there, there. 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 Okay. there. Hi, hi, hi Raymond. Um, well, you know, I I saw you. I think. Um, a month ago at the summit um, lot for a shoot. Oh, okay. You had like a luxury car or the red one in front of you. Yeah. And you were pretty much in your element. I mean, I saw you like, you know, telling people, you know, what to do, where to put everything. Mm. Do you think you like uh, doing what you do because it offers you more control? Um, well, it, 
working for Esquire, that shoot was actually for a fashion editorial that I did for Esquire Philippines. Right. Um, so we did have a Ferrari there. We had the wow. clothes <laughs> flown in from <laughs> Louis Vuitton exclusively for Esquire. So it right. was a, it was a pretty big shoot. And um, when it's a big shoot like that, yeah. and you know everyone's kind of relying on you to give them direction to kind of, you know, give them instructions. Right. You really have to be in your element. And, you know, I do work with a really good team and I get to collaborate with the best photographers, the best creative people in, in, um, in fashion and publishing. So um, it's, it's great and I love doing shoots and people always ask me, why do you, have, why do, you do magazines? Yeah. And um, it's really because I've always been a magazine reader. So uh, just being part of Esquire to me, such a, it's such a global iconic brand. Right. Um, you know, I have to I have to step up my game and really concentrate when I have shoots. Right. You know, I'm so curious because you you get to meet everybody. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> it's like because we get starstruck with everyone, but who do you get? Yeah. Do you ever still get starstruck by? with anyone? Like who gets you like you can't talk because you're just too starstruck, or at least like it at least gets you flustered. Yeah, yeah. locally. Yeah, um, I'm not sure. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I guess not. No, I guess not. Because they're your friends. I mean, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, and you know, like when I when I shot Mani Pangilinan for Esquire, that yeah. was kind of like you know I didn't know because he's super private. Right. So. I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know how his personality was going to be. And then, you know, you just kind of expect to, people to just be, like, quiet. Yeah. And, like, especially people like that in yeah. business, right? But he was very nice. And um, so people like that. You mahindi mo masyadong nakikita. Yeah, not yeah. The, the, the people who aren't uh, too much in the public eye. Yeah, exactly. because, yeah. you know, I do TV. I do my interviews. Yeah. I do my shows. So in terms of local show business, I've kind of met everybody already. Yeah. But um, the really private kind of, like, business like types. Like the business yeah. mogul types. Yeah, because yeah. you don't know what to expect. What's your... What's your Guilty pleasure, like like the the uh, super, well at least uh, parang not so cool. Because I, I mean you know the like what's what's oh, cool and what's not. <laughs> is there something that like on the surface it's not really cool but you really enjoy it? Whatever it is, whether it's a I don't know a, a, a song. Or it can't even be like One Direction because you know. Yeah, because a lot, a lot of people, people still. Yeah. I know that's still like I don't know like baggy pants or something. <laughs> no, no. <Never> baggy pants. <laughs> so quick, no, but I like how no, quick that was. Yeah, no, never baggy pants. Yeah. Um, I have to think about that one. I'm not really sure. Yeah. All right. Well, anyway, um, he's here with us on the show yes. um, all the way till around 10 or so. Um, so if you guys have any questions, you can send it over uh, our Twitter account. Exactly. Uh, we're just going to go on a short break. Um, Dell's on the show. Yes, she also. is. Yeah. And hopefully fully clothed. Yeah, hopefully fully clothed. <laughs> Are you fully clothed? Yes, I am. Don't embarrass me in front of our guest. <laughs> that's well, disgusting. You're not, you're not technically yeah. in front of him anyway, yeah, exactly. so that's fine. <laughs> All right, we're going to go on a short break, and then we'll be back with more.